Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Gwinnett Stripers and the Memphis Redbirds. First pitch coming your way next. Now it's the there right fielder, one. Alec Burleson. Burleson. The right fielder, Alec Burleson. Robinson leads off first with one away. And the play's a two. Let's roll it. Ground ball right side. And he can't come up with it. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. Batting for the third baseman. Runner at third with one gone. And here's the first baseman, number 31. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. On the ground to short. Slings it across. Now two away as they get a run across. Second inning set to go. And the batter now, King Tejada. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Romero back to work. And that one fouled off. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. The 0-2. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he's out trying for two. Here's the catcher, Batting Tress in. Barrera. The catcher, Tress Barrera. Hey, no one down here. The 3 1. Swing and a ball popped up. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting nine. The center fielder. Mike. Now at the plate, the King Tejada. Shortstop, King Tejada. Hey, get a good one. Get a good piece on it, huh? Let's go. Ball one there. Counts 1-0. Phillip off of first with two away. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. And that one's gone. Third home run of the season, and this game is tied. It's 4-4. He put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Back here at the ballpark, and now the right fielder, Alec Burleson. The right fielder. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In time to ball. One up, one down. Well, oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Base is empty, one away. Now it's the DH, Irving Lopez. 0 for 1 so far. 2 2 on the way. Popped up. Tejada under it. He's got it, and there's two down. Now batting, left fielder, Oscar. King Tejada getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. Right here, here we go. 
Kutter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. This one blasted left center field on its way and that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, his fourth home run of the season. It's 7-6. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. <laughs> and now the first baseman, now, number 31. First baseman, Chandler Redman. Ground ball left side could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. I promise you, they're guys that get. And the batter will be the shortstop, King Tejada. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, take your game to another level. That's to third. Motter picks it up. Throw to first You're is up. in time. Two out. Now the batter down. Now batter. Taylor Motter. The third baseman. Taylor Motter. Out to short. Zips it across. That's the inning. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Redbirds on top here, eight to seven. King Tejada digs in now. This guy with light tower power. And things could change quickly here with one swing. That misses, and that's ball one. Thompson measures six feet, two inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and occasionally uses a cutter. Next pitch is popped up. Modder sizing this one up. This one is over. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next guy stepping up and getting it done. You got to give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. And a final eight to seven. They hang on to win it by a run. For